everyone! Welcome back to In Her Rubber Boots. My name is Katrina and today I want to share with you some tips on how to simplify your wardrobe. So I'm going to start by giving you my tips and then I'm going to show you what I've done in my own closet so you can see how I have used these tips um, to simplify my own wardrobe. So tip number one is to have less clothing in your closet. I think sometimes we see this as having to get rid of clothing and we're not ready to let it go, so we keep it all in our closet. You don't have to have it all in your closet just because you own it. You can easily have your summer clothes packed away when it's winter time, or you can even just have kind of a capsule wardrobe that you um, create and put in your closet and pack everything else away. So by doing that, you only have a few items to have to choose from every day. It's probably items that um, you're currently enjoying, and you don't have to sort through all of the other clothing to pick what you're wearing that day. So building on that, my next tip would be to only keep in your wardrobe what fits. If it doesn't fit currently, don't have it in your closet. Now I realize for some of us, we're like, okay, but I don't want to get rid of this because maybe you're postpartum or you're on a diet and you know that you're going to later wear it or you're hoping that you'll wear it someday. Um, but you don't have to have it in your closet. There's nothing more painful than looking at an item that you want to wear that doesn't fit. And I think that really that affects your mental state. You get dressed in the morning and you look at 20 items that you want to wear that don't fit and finally choose something you're going to wear. Just take those things out of your wardrobe. You don't have to get rid of them pack them away in a box. Just write something like too small and you know if you lose some weight pull the box out. Don't even have to look at it. So tip number three is make sure that those items build outfits. So sometimes you might have a sweater in your closet that you super love but it doesn't go with any of your pants and so the reason you're not wearing it is because you don't have anything that goes with it. So just make sure that the items that you keep in your closet all work together that you can wear them all and if they don't if you really like the item, then purchase something that goes with it. And if you are not willing to purchase something that goes with it, maybe it's an item you should get rid of. My last tip is don't listen to other people on what you have to do. Do what works for you. Now I'm saying that and you're watching a video. Um, so do whatever you want to do, I guess. But what I'm trying to say is you can watch these capsule wardrobes and they tell you, you know, it has to be 25 items in total or there's other ones that tell you you have to have this many number of pants and this number of shirts. Every person is different. What works for you is not what works for someone else. Uh, based on the job that you work or if you have small kids or if you have a, a lifestyle where your clothing gets really dirty is going to dictate what you need in your wardrobe. So do what works for you. These are tips that worked for me, so that's why I'm sharing them with you in hopes that they might help you. So next I want to show you how I have used these tips to simplify my wardrobe and make my life a little less stressful, at least for getting ready in the morning. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pull everything out of my wardrobe. We're heading into winter anyways, so I kind of need to pack away some of the items that aren't warm enough, pull out some of my winter clothes. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to dump everything out, see what I have, do an initial just getting rid of items that I know don't need to be in my wardrobe. And then I will look at how many items I have left and see if I need to go through again and get rid of more items. So here is the pile of my initial just going through and knowing that these items don't need to be in my wardrobe. So don't mind the mess, I've got a helper here. But after I did my initial sorting and, you know, got rid of all of the items that I knew for sure I wasn't going to be wearing for the season, I went through and actually counted to see how many I had of each item. So I'll show you the actual breakdown after when it's not a mess. But this is the pile that I still took out after um, I did my initial sorting. Perhaps it's easier to show you like this. That's the pile there. So that's initially I thought I wanted those items in my wardrobe. And then after realizing exactly how many I had of each thing, I realized I definitely don't need all of this. Slash tried some of it on and realized some of the items did not fit. So now that you've seen what I have uh, left in my closet, I am going to try and get those items to fit in the drawers with hopes that everything fits because if it doesn't, I'm probably going to have to once again figure out if there's more things that I can eliminate out of uh, the items that I've chosen to keep in my wardrobe. 
All right, so I wanted to show you the sweaters. Keeping in mind, I live in Canada. It's cold, so I wear a sweater every day. Um, so sweaters really uh, make up my outfits. So I've got 12 all together. So here is like an open one, a pullover, an open, a pullover, open, open, um, more of just a comfy sweater, one I can wear with leggings, just a hoodie, wear with leggings, wear with leggings, hoodie. So perhaps that seems like a lot, but that really means I've got 12 outfits to work with. All right, so don't mind the sound effects. This guy is farming over here. So I've got a long sleeve shirt. So this is shirts. I've got a long sleeve shirt and then the rest are t-shirts. So I have a short one, one that can be worn with leggings, short, 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 short. Could be worn with leggings, short, oh, short, leggings. So in total I have 10 t-shirts, a long sleeve shirt, and I think I have another long sleeve shirt in the laundry. So doing this made me realize that I definitely need more bottoms. I mean, I kind of already knew that, but I definitely confirmed it doing this. So I've got a pair of comfy overalls. I actually am wearing a pair of leggings. So three pairs of leggings and two pairs of jeans. So now keep in mind, this is what works for me. Obviously what works for you might be different. I have uh, small children and a farm, so my clothes get very dirty. All right, I'm starting with my pants because I only have a few pairs. They're definitely going to fit in the drawers. I'm only going to use half of a drawer for that right now because sweaters are really bulky and I hardly have any pants. T-shirts on that side, long sleeves, tank tops, pants, hoodies, and like I said about not folding your sweaters, I don't bother folding knit sweaters. And so these are all of the knit type sweaters. Now I do have drawers over here, so I do have my socks and underwear in there, and in this drawer here I have uh, pajamas. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. Do you have any tips or tricks, things that you do to simplify your wardrobe? I would love to know. Just leave that down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!